So I'm standing here now with Joe, Joe Bloomfield, who's just signed for the club. And there'll be some of you watching this who know Joe of old, and some of you are not, not so familiar with him. So um, let me just ask you, Joe, um, you first joined Felix Stowe some time ago now, 2007, I believe. Yeah, yeah? so I was uh, 16, fresh release from Ipswich Academy. Uh, so my first step into men's football as a 16-year-old boy this big. Yep. Um, so I played for, for two years whilst I was at sixth form and then for a further three years whilst I was studying at university. Um, outside of term time, would come back in Christmas holidays, uh, Easter holidays. How did that work? Because you, were, you well. were studying at Warwick, I believe. I was yeah. at Warwick. So um, obviously, famously, university students get a little bit of time off. Yeah. <laughs> um, so during that, those periods, I would, I would do pre-season here and start the season. Okay. and come back at Christmas for a month and Easter at month as well. Right. So um, I usually got the first bit of the FA Cup yeah. little run as well. Um, right, and yeah, then yeah. Chris, busy Christmas period in Easter. Uh -huh. So uh, managed to play some games for, yeah. for the three years during university. Yeah. And then when you finish at university, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were traveling around the country a bit? With yeah, work. so after I graduated <laughs> with work commitments, um, I was living in different parts of the country. Um, Working, so I was down in Bristol, so I played for a, for a club down there. Oh, right. uh, and then up in the Midlands area, so I played for a team called Wellingborough Town and okay. Dunkirk as well around the Nottingham area. Yeah, yeah. And oh. so, yeah, been playing, been playing at, at sort of the non league level yeah. throughout that period of time while I was w also working, right. but away from, away from this yeah. area. And then you came back here again? So I was, I was back here uh, at the start of this year. Yeah. Um, and then I joined Ipswich Wanderers to, to play a few games. Because this obviously. is you've moved back to this Ipswich. Was moved right? back yeah. to Ipswich. Yeah. Um, and obviously Felix, they were top of the league at the time. So I thought, get a few games. Um, so yeah. I played, played a few games at Ipswich Wanderers at the end of last season. Yeah. Uh, and then I spoke to, to Watty and, um, and Kev at the end of the season. And yeah. um, it was sort of a no-brainer for me. This is, this is me coming home. Um, where it all sort of began yeah. for me and, and with a family connection and everything so yeah we'll come on to that in a minute just going back to the Ipswich Wanderers experience um you because you played against us here towards the end of the season what happened in that game um well <laughs> so it, it was nil nil we were obviously the underdogs and it was about 70 minutes in um and unfortunately i i saw red um <laughs> Bit overexcited uh, coming happens. home. Yeah, I don't know. First yeah. game against Felix Stowe being back here. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was a sending off person. Um, <laughs> to be on high cards, it, it, it was my first. It was my first ever, so I wasn't wasn't too happy. But it um, happens. Yeah, yeah. It happens. Um, going on to this kind of family connection thing here. Um, now, obviously, your brothers Danny and Matt. Uh, uh, Danny played for Felix Stowe, yep. didn't he? Yep. Danny um, was at Felix Stowe um, until he was picked up by Norwich at eighteen. Yep. 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 And Matt was at Ipswich and then off to Wickham. Yep, where he still is now. He yep. still is. So and he's, he's been there for, um, I think, 14 years now. Yeah, it's under 440 appearances yeah. or something. Yeah, so, yeah. so he's, uh, he's signed another two years. So he's, uh, is he? right. he's okay. recently moved back to Felix, though. So uh -huh. maybe we'll catch him down here at some point. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, yeah. But yeah. he's got two years at Wickham, which is great. And because it's not just yourself and your two brothers, but it's your dad, Steve. My dad as, as well. well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so what was Steve's connection with... with Felix yeah, so so that was back when it was Walton. Yeah, yeah. so um, my dad was was manager here. Oh, that was a number of years ago yeah, when when yeah. Danny was playing. Yeah, um, and he was manager here with Jack Ainsley and Stu Ainsley's dad. Yeah, George. Um, yeah. And then Watty was of course playing at that stage. Yeah. So there's a whole a whole connection that goes back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've, as a family and and sort of a Felix community, we've been. We've been heavily involved with the club. Yeah, um, and there's a couple of players that we have here at the moment who you'll remember as well from your first spell with Felix. Yep. So, uh, the Milo yeah. and Milo and Jordy, yeah, and, and Dan Davis Dan as Davis, well. Was yeah, here. Uh, I think that's probably it. But I knew I know a couple of the other lads as well from from you know football and, and sure. being round and about. Yeah. Um, so I think. I think we've got a great squad, and I know everyone's really excited to yeah. uh, to step up the league and ready for the challenge of it. Yeah, um, the position you're in at the moment is that you live in Ipswich um, and you're working in Cambridge, and obviously you've got some travelling to do for the club as well. Yeah, that doesn't pose a problem for you, does it? No, so I'm, I'm obviously used to commuting into Cambridge every day. Yeah. Um, yeah. And obviously, I thought about this before before of course. deciding to sign. Looked at the league and everything. Yeah. Um, so I, I've got a good relationship at work. I'll, I'll be able to sort out when we've got midweek games yeah. and everything. I'll be able to 
to uh, to work around that. So I, I'm not I'm not phased by that at all. Yeah, that's cool. Good. And it's just a couple of weeks. So did July preseason training starts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've got another week and a bit. Um, a week and a bit. Yeah. So yeah, I've been doing my own running, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah um, good. Good man. No one wants to be <laughs> last place going into preseason. Yeah. So uh, I've been doing my own running ready for next Tuesday um, and then the, the pre-season fixtures will be coming thick and fast yeah, before yeah, before, uh, before kick-off in August. Yeah. Just a couple of questions before we finish. Um, are England going to win the World Cup? Of course. <laughs> you have to say yes. You have okay. to say no. We're, we'll be there or thereabouts. Okay. Um, a final question. Um, in all the, the, the different teams that you played for, who who would you say is maybe the strongest or the best player you played with or even against? I'd probably instantly go back to my Ipswich days um, yeah. because um, so I was released when I was 16 and, and the two years prior to that we were um, in one day a week full time yeah. away from school right. so sometimes we get to train with the first team so obviously there was a lot of, a yeah, lot of good sure. players back there, that was when Jim Jilton was manager yeah. and he would sometimes train and still be the best player there so really? maybe yeah. I'll say him. Because Nick, Nick Pope was at Ipswich as well. Nick Pope was, was yeah. He, yeah. Um, he was released at a similar time to me actually was and he? of course oh, right, then okay. went, and went to Bury and that's yeah. where he yeah, sort yeah, of kicked on. Um, so yeah. yeah I mean he's He's doing amazingly well. He's doing and really hats well, off to him, really. Yeah, we might um, see him in the World Cup. Yeah, you never know. You never yeah, know. Yeah. Listen, this is somebody coming home. It's great. It's really nice to have you back at the club. Thank so, you very much. welcome back. Thank you. Good man.